Hi, so um, I wanted to talk on this video about what happened uh, two days ago, three days ago, uh, on the 29th of November 2023. Uh, well, this isn't the day, this is uh, I think the 1st of December, two days after that. This day is to December 1st, but I'm, I'm going to talk about what happened two days ago. Oh, fuck, I have a booger on my nose. Is it gone? Yeah. I was going to say, uh, I blocked my friend, you know. He was arguing with me, saying a whole bunch of stuff. Even though I was, spe I was telling him what he was doing, I was letting him know, hey, you're being a bum, like. All right, let me tell you the whole story. So, I knew this guy in high school, right? Yeah. We had, like, one or two classes together, something like that. Anyways, uh, the classroom was uh, Mr. R's class, Mr. Roar's class and stuff. Me and him hit it. Uh, we're talking at first. I made fun of his accent and called him a cowboy. <laughs> And I kept calling him that. It kind of annoyed him, but we eventually became friends over time because me and him wanted a had a dream that we would be actors, you know, like. But yeah, over time we ended up liking each other after, even though I annoyed him a little. But yeah, uh, I was gonna say. What was I going to say, dude? Well, anyways, yeah, we, uh, he moved high schools and I still stayed in that high school. And then, uh, when we graduated, uh, we graduated different years, but he graduated in another school and we saw each other at the mall. I was like, oh shit, we saw each other at the mall. That's crazy. That's crazy to think about, man. And he was with a, an ex, uh, a girlfriend that I kind of knew. He, we went to high school together, but I didn't know her that well. We didn't talk. I know of her, though. But, yeah, he ended up going out with her, and then they broke up. And then we ended up hanging out at the mall a lot after that. And we went to the theater one time. The movie theater. And he lost his skateboard, you know. In the bushes, well, he put he hid his skateboard in the bushes so he wouldn't have to bring it to the movie theater. And yeah, that's what happened. And when we came out of the movie theater, when the movie finished, uh, he couldn't find his 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 uh, skateboard. You know, he couldn't find the skateboard that he hid in the bushes. You know. And uh, he told me, damn, how am I going to get home if I can't ride on my skateboard? So um, we went inside the mall, which was right by the movie theater. And I bought him a fucking, uh, another skateboard, yeah. And it costed like fucking $700 or some shit like that at this one store in the mall. And I used my FAFSA money, but he knew I got paid a lot, so yeah. But yeah, and then, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? What was I gonna say? Oh, uh, Well, anyways, yeah, after that, he kept asking me for money, like if it, like if it was a daily thing, and he would tell me, hey, pay me back, pay me back, pay me back, and then over time, he did it for years while we were best friends, we still hanged out every now and then, but we kept in contact with each other every now and then for years, and we still hanged out, we were still... He was the only friend of mine from school that I still hanged out with.
But yeah, every now and then he would ask me for money within those years, like. And he would never pay me back. And it, over time, he ended up owing me thousands of dollars. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't block him off and cut him off earlier, but I finally did. After we had an argument, and I brought it up more to him, and he and he was saying, "Oh, you're talking shit. You're talking shit." No, bro. I'm pointing out your behavior and the way you've treated me and the way and what you've done. It's like you did what you did, and I blocked you off, and I'm. I'm flat, I'm fine. I'm happy that I did a little bit, but I'm pretty sad because we developed a friendship over years, you know. But it is what it is, though. Yeah, I'm kind of a little sad because it literally happened two days ago, and but I feel like I did the right thing, you know. But yeah. I finally get to focus on other things and not have to fucking hang out with, hang out and waste my time with that motherfucker. You know? But yeah, it is what it is. 2020, 2023 is gonna be a new year for me and I'm making changes. I mean, I've been making changes, but now I'm going to make more changes, you know. But yeah, I'm uh, probably in a little bit, eat breakfast. But yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, fucking... I knew this guy for almost a decade, bro. Like, eight years almost. Like, almost. Well, we did not hang out every now and then within those years. But, you know, we knew each other for a long time. And uh, I finally cut it off. But, yeah... All right, uh, I think I'm going to end it here, but yeah, that was my little rant, and I just needed to talk about it, you know, so it is what it is. Hell yeah.